definitely going to share this to Ouroboros. Hey, 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 hey everyone, say hi as you're hopping on. Good morning, Casey. Hey Nicole, hey Sarah, hey, 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 of course they have to get the saw going as soon as I get out here. Ridiculous. So, I am so happy to announce that... Whoa, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I'm so happy to announce that my Friday. lead pages and my website have officially been unblocked from the Facebook. I can officially share all of my content again on the Facebook. It was resolved yesterday. I'm really excited about it. And I literally got confirmation in writing from Facebook that because I asked them, I was like, so can I share my business links on my personal page? And I literally got confirmation in writing. They put it in writing that I can share it on all of my Pace pages across the Facebook platform. So Mercury, ret Mercury goes direct. And have been resolved as of right now <laughs> so we'll see I got this posted to all the places so that's one bit of good news today um, that I'm excited about And no, they actually said that they don't know why it happened. That was the other like really fascinating thing is that they he was like i can't see why this happened um and it was really weird because i was i had a bunch of other weird blocks that were happening around the same time like i got blocked from sharing stories and then i got facebook jail they said they couldn't see why i was put in facebook jail they said why i was blocked I didn't even see the block that ha so facebook jail happened and then i got put in facebook jail again for like 24 hours but I was already working with this representative from Facebook. And so I got blocked from stories. And then the next day I got put in Facebook jail for a day. That one said it was because of suspicious activity on my account. Um, it was so weird. The whole thing was so weird. And he was like, he, they couldn't even see the second time. Hey, Allie. 
the second time um, the jail happened, they couldn't even see it. He couldn't even see it. He was like, it doesn't look like to me that anything's blocked on your account. So I don't know. It was obviously like, I feel like it was just other interference happening for sure. But I don't think it's a coincidence that I did a major clearing with Sabrina Piergosi the other night. And um, we worked on all of this stuff. Like we literally did huge amounts of clearing around interference and like parasites and a bunch of other implants and things like that that was going on. Sabrina's amazing, by the way. If you guys don't follow her, you should definitely follow her. And literally I woke up the next day and to the email from Facebook that everything was unblocked. Which is something I wanna talk about. I am about results. Not as much as my husband, perhaps, who is all about results in all. I am definitely more of a, um, well, here's how I am. I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about this because I think it's important for everyone to know sort of where I stand. I believe in the possibility of everything that I cannot see. Um, so, you know, I believe that there's a possibility that unicorns exist. I've never personally seen one. I've never personally had an experience with one. So until I do, that's not going to be something that you hear me talk about, right? Unless I'm talking about it in this context. I, I, but I believe in the possibility of all things. Um, I believe that, that there is so much more. I believe that, that we, we know such a small fraction of what exists um, across all the realms of time and space. And so, you know, I believe that alien spacecraft exists. I've seen it. And I, so I will share my experience of that, right? Because I've actually, I've actually experienced it. I share my experience with dragons because I've had, I have had the experiences with them. So I definitely am a, I believe in the possibility of all things until I have personal experience with it. You're not going to hear me talking about it, I guess is, is kind of where, where I stand with that, but I am a results oriented person. And why is this important? Well, I think it's important because if you don't, I follow Calvin Witcher, and I think that he's, um, it's Calvin Witcher the prophet. Um, if you don't follow him, I would. He's freaking hilarious, but he is, as far as the spiritual community goes, um, he's about as in integrity a person as I have found. And I was reading a post of his today and you know if you've been following me over the last few days you've seen that I'm just hugely fired up like I'm at the point where I'm just basically like incapable of handling pseudo spirituality bullshit like I don't even know like I'm just at the point where I'm scrolling my Facebook feed like in continual eye roll um, because all I'm seeing is just regurgitated information with no basis and no results and no foundation. So it's, and Calvin, I, so I've been posting about it the last couple of days and Calvin did a post about it today. And I was like, yeah, I mean, this, this really is the thing. It's about results. It's about, does your work get results? Um, and mine does like just, if we look at the black and white of the of the deconstruction of programming and wealth repatterning work that I do and that is facilitated through my program Ouroboros and is facilitated through the work that I do with my private clients, I get results, period. I have people coming into my field doubling and tripling and quadrupling their income from doing the work that is transmitted to me and there he is and then he arrives just as we're speaking his name we were just saying fake and full of shit you were calvin witcher <laughs> just kidding i actually said that 
in the spiritual community, you are about as, I don't know how I said it. I'm still having coffee, but I, what, what was I saying? What were the words that I said about Calvin? I said that in the spiritual community, he is something along the lines of about as in as they come. And I was talking about this idea of results. Like I was talking about results. So, you know, I see people out there talking about um, doing wealth work and doing wealth clearing work and doing abundance work and doing prosperity work and, you know, that they can help you make money. And I'm like, okay, that's great. And they can save, you know, they can charge thousands of dollars for retreats or charge thousands of dollars to work with them. But I'm like, where's the results? What's actually happening on the other side of those things? Um, what's happening on the other side of the 15 courses that they got you to sign up for on how to make more money? For me, I sit, like I am so confident in that I produce results. My program, Ouroboros, produces results. My mind produces results. And you know, I stand behind that and market. And as long as I continue to produce results in those areas, then I'll continue to do that work. Um, but I have no problem being like, yes, sign up for Ouroboros because it will fucking change the way that you, it will change your relationship with money. Um, it will change your relationship with your worthiness and your deserving. And I fully back that. Um, it's destructive as fuck. And during the actually, um, oh, actually, let me just check my Wi-Fi. There we go. I had my Wi-Fi on. That's why it was glitchy. So it should be better now. So, you know, and this isn't what this live stream is about because I really do want to talk about this idea of it not being about how much money you can make doing your purpose work. That's not what it's fucking about, but it is about being fully held and financially supported, wildly financially supported doing your purpose work. And there's a big difference between those two things. So that's going to be the topic of Wealth Sermon Sunday, Sunday Wealth Sermon. This is the very last one. I won't say forever and ever because who knows, I may change it to Sunday Wealth Sermon on YouTube, but this is the last one on Facebook. Um, I'm going, I'm taking this Wealth Sermon and it's going to be Wealth Sermon Wednesdays over to YouTube. So if you haven't already followed me on YouTube, I'm going to be doing lots more exclusive content over there. So www.youtube.com forward slash Leah Steele, or just search the Leah Steele channel, Leah Steele on YouTube. Um, and make sure you subscribe over there because I'll be doing Wealth Sermon Wednesdays starting next week. Um, so that's the topic, but I do want to talk about this because it's up in my field and I'm literally just at this point where I think I posted on Calvin's post today. I'm like, the two ways you know if people are real in this community is one, if they're actually producing results and two, if they're fucking so irritated and annoyed by all the bullshit in the community right now and it's they're incapable of being silent about it anymore. Like that's my, <laughs> that's my barometer of is this person real or not? because I'm seeing it across the board. The people that I respect in this field and the people in, you know, and, and when I say this field, I mean like, it's the spiritual space, the, the mystical space, the, you know, all, like all of, the, all of the spaces that I operate in, even the coaching space, right? It's the people that are at, like they're fed up. They are so fed up with just the fucking bullshit and the regurgitated, like cloning that's happening online. Um, when pe when I'm seeing people being frustrated, I'm like, oh, amen. Like, yes. Like, can we just move out of this? It's so annoying. It's so boring, right? It's so boring. Like, why would you even want to get on social media these days? It's like, I literally was scrolling my feed the other night and I was just like, ugh, unfriend, ugh, unfriend, ugh, unfriend. Because I'm just like, I just, why? Like, why can you not... Go out and fucking pioneer your purpose work. Figure out what your divine mission is and go do that in the world. Stop trying to be someone else. Stop trying to clone yourself after someone else. Like it's just, ugh, it's gross and it's boring. But so I wanna, we'll wrap up on this results thing really fast. But you know, for me, what I know is that people come into my field and it takes a fair amount of destruction before they start to see results. A lot of the people that went through Ouroboros in round one were like, oh my God, the fucking bottom fell out. And then two months after, like in the two months after the program concluded, they were doubling and tripling their income. 
There's a difference though. There's a difference between, and I talked about this over the last week, there's a difference between people that actually show up and go all in on doing work with me and people that put one foot in and then will not move out of their victim story or will not move out of their limiting beliefs. It's like, they'll do a little bit of the work, but they won't, they won't go all in. And it's like, for me, I'm at the point right now where I'm just like, I'm not going to work with those people anymore. Like I, I'm over it. Like I, I am no longer going to pull and drag along these fucking anchors that are weighing me down. Like I'm over it. I want people that are all in on this work because I see the results of the people that are and they're phenomenal and their entire lives are changing. And you know, it's like I could name 10 people right now that have quadrupled their income since they started working with me, since they came in and did the Ouroboros program or they started working with me one-on-one. Um, and the number that have tripled their income or doubled their income, like I don't even know what that number is. So for me, it's like, if you're gonna work with somebody, work with somebody who's getting results. And if you invest money with somebody and you don't get results, including me, right? If you invest with me and you don't get the results that you were after, don't fucking invest with me again. Like, because one, I know if you're investing with me and you're not getting the results that you're after, it's because you, like, it's not a good fit. It's not a good residence or you're not all in or like, we don't have a good energetic resonance. Um, so don't invest with me again. Go find somebody else that is going to work for you. But if you're investing with somebody and you're not getting results from them, don't then go give them $10,000 more or $20,000 more. Like that is insanity right? Like anybody that's like, oh, well you didn't do well at this level. So now you should spend more money with me so that you can get more, so that you can get, so you can actually get the results. That's bullshit. Run for the fucking hills. If you hear that shit, like for real, like I am not here for it any longer. The, oh, you didn't get results because blah, 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 blah. Um, make a bigger investment and then you'll get the results. No. Did you get the results off the bat? Did you get the results from the $44 program? Did you get the results from the $400 program? If you got the results from the $44 program, buy the $400 program. If you got results from the $400 program, buy the $4,000 program. Like, use your fucking brain. I'm just, I'm so over, you know, and the other piece is, is like, if you keep going to mentors that are promising you a magic pill and are promising that like, they have the secret and that you can only get the information from them. Like that's bullshit. You have the answers. The answers are inside of you. And yes, do it, you know, is it extremely helpful to have mentors and guides and even peers that can help us see into the places where we can't see right now? And do we hire coaches and men and mentors to like, you know, get us to the place that we're already headed to much quicker. Yes, absolutely. Like I'm all for investing in people that you have the right resonance with in people that you know can help you get results. But I have been burned by making major investments with people that I thought were going to get me to a certain place because what happened in those situations was my spiritual team was like, Oh, haha, ha, you're investing because you think that this person's going to get you to where you need to go. Well, let us just show you how much that's not going to happen. You have the answers. I have the answers, right? I'm the only one that can get me to where I need to go. Can somebody give me some tools that might help me get there faster? Yeah. Can somebody help guide me and help mentor me? Yes if they're helping me find those answers within me, but not if they're, if they're pitching that like, I have to do a certain thing with them in order to get it. That's the part where I'm just like, no, 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 no. That's not, that's not it, right? It's like part of the reason why I have such an issue with people continuing to go outside of themselves for readings, whether it's tarot or going to see psychics, or it's like you're going to talk to somebody hoping that they're going to give you an answer that you really could get. Hey, Catherine Rollins, that you really could get, you know, if you spent enough time connecting to your higher self and to source, you could get those answers yourself. Um, you don't need somebody outside of you to help you connect with your dead grandfather. You have the ability to do that on your own. Um, 
you know, now should you go work with somebody that can maybe help you develop those skills and tools? Yeah, absolutely. If that resonates for you, but don't continue to spend dollar after dollar after dollar after dollar seeking answers outside of yourself. I just, the more we take on our own power, the more we stand in our power and the more that we buy into that we have the answers, the faster we ascend, the faster we actually move into the creation of heaven on earth, right? And this is the thing where it's just like what I've been so fired up lately and what I've been saying, like you get on the train now, it's leaving the fucking station. Like this is it. We are at a crossroads as like humanity is at a crossroads right now, period. It just is. There are, there is so much of the population of this planet that is slowly killing themselves either physically or emotionally and they're not going to ascend this lifetime they're just not because they're not willing to step out of their victim story or their victim mentality or their constant reaching outside of themselves for answers you know i I've been, people have been really pissed off by the stuff that I've been saying lately. And I've been getting some pretty nasty messages about like, again, and it's, I fully believe it's because people can't actually hear the words that I'm saying. They're cloaked for a lot of people that are listening to me. They're actually hearing something completely opposite than what I'm saying. And so I've been getting messages where like people are all getting all upset and they're like, you're like claiming to be the only one that has the answer and you're you know, you're saying that if I don't do this with you, then I'm not going to ascend. And that's a lie. And I'm like, I never said that. First of all, what I did say was if, you know, I have been very, very clear over the last few days that like the train's fucking leaving the station. You've got a limited amount of time. Like you need to fucking choose all in on your purpose work and your divine mission now, period. Like whether you do something with me, you do something with yourself, you find another mentor that you can work with. Like the time is now it is upon us. Like, We are, the spiritual apocalypse is happening right fucking now. So you get to decide if you're going to become a zombie or you're going to become a superhuman. That's literally what's happening right now in the world. Yes, I have been saying that. Yes, I have been saying that there are, there is work that I am doing in the world that will help you get clarity on your purpose work. If you don't know what it is or you're not clear on it, There is work that I am doing and this retreat in particular and the VIP access that we're doing to this retreat and the activations that we're doing at this retreat. Like, yes, I have the ability, Maria Portis and I have come together because we have the ability to give you crystal clear clarity on what your fucking divine mission is, what you're here to do, how you're meant to be doing that in 2020 and where in the world you're meant to be doing it in 2020. Like that is something that I can provide right now. I literally have the ability to provide you those results. So yes, I am selling that. At no time have I said that it is the only way to opt in. At no time have I said it's the only way to choose in and get on the train. Of course not. That choice lies within you. You get to make that choice. But if you don't make that choice, you're basically gonna be fucked. Um, It's gonna be a lot harder for you to get back to this place that you are if you're not, if you don't go all in now, if you don't make the choice now, like period. Like that's just what it is. So I've been laughing because these people have been messaging me and like so upset at me being like, you're basically, you know, saying the opposite of like what you're preaching, like you're, you're contradicting yourself. You're saying that I have the answers, but then you're telling me that I can't get the answers unless I do something with you. And I was like, I think you should go back and watch like all the shit that I've said in the last week, because at no point did I say that, but I can't be bothered with it anymore. It's literally just like those people. I'm like, good luck on your journey. Let's not be friends anymore on Facebook. Like let's, and let's cut our ties and end our relationship because you're not hearing what I'm saying. Like the fact that you're even sending me this message just indicates to me that like you don't get it or you're not hearing me. So, and I don't actually have the time to sit and help you get it. Like there's too many people that are getting it that need me. I don't have the time to sit around and like 
help drag people across the fucking finish line. It's that the time for that is past. Like I'm over it. It's not happening anymore. Like you're either on the fucking train, you're getting on the train or you want help getting on the train or you're just not. And that's it. And like, if you're just not like, I'm done. Like I'm just, I'm not here for it anymore. I don't have the patience. Um, I literally don't have the patience. I don't have the ability to, to pull people along anymore. And I, it's just not what I'm meant to be doing anyway. Like I'm meant to be operating at such a different level than that from this point forward. So that's the op level that I'm going to be operating at. Like I'm not fucking mincing my words anymore. I'm not hiding what I feel anymore. I'm not worrying about if people are going to be offended anymore. I'm literally like <laughs> the other day I seriously wrote like five Facebook posts and I only posted two of them because they were so harsh. And it's like, it's not that I'm worried about offending people, but I'm just like, oh my God, it doesn't even matter if I say this because nobody's even getting it. Like nobody even understands. Like no, everyone's asleep. Nobody's eyes are fucking even open. But when I'm getting the urge to say things, they're just going to be said now. And that's it. And you can like it or you can hate it or you can unfriend me or you can unfollow me. And it's just like, if you do unfriend me or unfollow me, good. Because it's going to open up space for the people that actually do get it to come in. And... You know, I think people are pissed off because they feel like I'm not caring about people anymore or I'm being cold or I'm, you know, all of these projections that they have on me and I'm a 5'1 projector. So basically like that's my entire existence is here to be projected upon. And I'm like, I don't really care. Like if you have those feelings about me, you have those feelings. So leave. Like, if you're here and you're in my field and you're working with me in an intimate way, you know how I feel about pe people. You know how I feel about humanity. But I'm really just not here for, like, helping people, like, pulling people along anymore. It's just not happening. So, that's all that. That's all, that's all the things that I'm fired up about in relation to all of that stuff. What I really want to talk about on this wealth sermon today, though, is this idea of... Because we have seen this space, the online space turn into how much money can you make doing your purpose work? Like, and this shift and this focus being towards how much money can you make coaching people? How much money can you make, you know, hawking your spiritual wares? Like, and it's, and I feel like there's so much of this, like, it's, it isn't about how much money you can make. It isn't about, you know, can I make $100,000 a month coaching people? That's, you're missing the fucking point if that's the road you're going down. And the coaches that are like selling you, the coaches that you're hiring that are pushing you to like be like, how much money can I make coaching people or how much money can I make healing people? Though it, it's all crumbling, it's all gonna go away. What I do want to say is it is about being wildly financially supported and held doing your purpose work. Like the time for the warrior sacrifice and, and scarcity and, you know, lack mentality and suffering is over. Like that time is over and it is our divine birthright to be wildly financially supported doing our purpose work. But and so do you get the difference there? It's like, I think people, a lot of people just don't even actually get the difference. For me, it's just a given. It's just a given that I get to be wildly financially supported doing my purpose work, right? And yes, I set financial goals, but I don't show up on this live stream hoping to make money. I don't do my purpose work or do my divine mission work with an intention of having a result of making money. I share the message because the message needs to get out into the world. I do the work because the work needs to get out into the world. I help people repattern, deprogram and repattern their money and wealth shit because they're meant to be out in the world sharing their divine mission and being wildly financially supported and held. Um, I do the work because part of my divine, divine mission is deconstructing the programming that's keeping humanity in financial slavery consciousness. And 
yes, I get to make money doing that and I get to be wildly financially supported even beyond my wildest of imagination. I get to be hugely financially supported. But it's not what it's about. Like it's not, I don't do it for the money. The money comes and, and gets to support me. Does that make sense? Like, I, I feel like we've gotten lost somewhere where now we're making it about, like we do the work so that we can make the money. And that's not what it's about. We do the work because we have to do the work. I was saying the other day, someone was like, I, I've been blown away because I've been seeing these people like falling off or like leaving the spiritual space or like stopping doing their purpose work and going back to getting nine to five jobs. And I'm like, I cannot imagine being like, okay, I'm not gonna live divinely guided anymore and I'm not gonna share whatever the message is that's coming through me on a daily basis. I, don't, I think I would die. I literally think I would die. And it's like, even if I was making, even if all of a sudden I started making zero dollars, which is not a fucking possibility, but even if I did, I still couldn't not share the message. Like, I still wouldn't be like, okay, well, I'm not gonna share the message now because I'm not getting, getting paid. Like. The message is its own thing. The message is the reason. The message is my connection to the divine and my sharing of the wisdom and the information that is meant to come through, especially as it relates to helping the people of this planet reascend and helping the people of this planet deconstruct the programming that's keeping them locked in all types of slavery. That's the why, right? And I get to be wildly financially compensated for that because I'm doing my purpose work and because I'm deserving and because I'm deserving of all the things that I desire. And because money isn't fucking good or bad, it's a resource and because it's just an energy and, and I have an energetic a reciprocal energetic relationship with lots of things of value and with lots of different resources. And so that's why it's impossible for me not to be financially support, wildly financially supported. Hey Maria, I was just talking about you. You must, your ears must've been ringing, but it's impossible for me not to be wildly financially supported doing my purpose work because I am an active participant in that energy exchange. Like I continue to provide value. And so of course value is going to continue to be provided to me and value in all different types of forms. Money's just one of them, right? So this is the place where like, I feel like people are getting really lost. Like they're making it about a financial result. Now in my high level mastermind, I am constantly having my babes make financial goals because it's important to keep our awareness on having that exchange with money, having that energetic exchange with money and having that energetic exchange with value. So yes, we set goals. Yes, we go after those goals, but we don't, but what I'm always saying to the women in my mastermind is you don't fucking try to figure out what thing you're selling or what part of your purpose work is going to help you get to that dollar amount like that. You've completely fucking miss the boat if that's how you're doing it. If you're like, I need to sell this program and I need to sell X amount of spots because X amount of spots will help me get to X amount of dollars per week or X amount of dollars per month, you fucking miss the point. Because the truth is, is that if you're living divinely guided and if you're out sharing the message and if you're out sharing, doing your divine mission work, the money will just show up. You don't have to figure out how it's gonna get there. But that doesn't happen unless you've gone all in. It doesn't happen unless you've fully committed to living divinely guided. You fully committed to taking the inspired action when you're given the divine guidance. You fully committed to showing up each and every moment of each and every day, willing to do your purpose work, willing to do your divine mission work, willing to put your ego aside and live divinely guided. Like, you feel so sweet the universe in all areas. Yeah, I, you know, and that's the thing, it's just like, Ultimately, even when I'm in fear or even when, when things like I've had a crazy time in the last few weeks, the last three weeks of my life, 
I have experienced fear again. Um, scarcity's come back into my life a little bit. Um, worry, doubt, doubt if I'm doing the right thing. I mean, this is happening for all spiritual leaders right now. So it's just par for the course, not just me. It's happening to everyone. But it's been really interesting because even though in those moments I had the fear and the lack and felt the scarcity and was worried and was doubtful, it's like I sit here now today with everything having turned around and like, it's so funny because I'm just like, oh, of course, like, and I knew it all along. So I sit here and I go like, yeah, I was worried. Yeah, I was frustrated. Yeah, I was like, where are the people? Why aren't they signing up for this retreat? Why aren't they coming in? Like, why am I having so much interference? Why am I getting blocked on Facebook? Maybe I'm not meant to be doing this work. Like all the fear and doubts coming up, right? And then it's like, I just keep showing up. I just keep showing up. I just keep working through it. I keep going through my process. I keep trusting in my connection to the divine and knowing that it is real and it is valid. And as long as I continue to show up every day and do the work that it works out. Right. And even though I was afraid at moments, it's like today I'm like, you know, retreats full. I've made heaps of money. Um, the message is getting out there. I'm so excited for the retreat next week. And I'm sitting here in this, in this vibration and energy of, of course, of course it is. Of course it did. It was never not going to, you know? And then I get the confirmation. It's like the people that I knew that were gonna be here ended up being here, right? And there were times when I was like, well, why haven't they signed up? I knew that they were gonna be here. Like, what's going on? Why didn't they show up? Well, of course they're showing up now. Of course they're, of course it's happening. It's always and of course, because I know that as long as I show up and I do my purpose work and I do my divine mission work, then all of my wildest dreams are fulfilled. Oh my God, let's get rid of this dude. Ugh. And of course, like then it's like, yeah, are you gonna show up and do your divine purpose work when this creeper gets on and asks you if you're nude? <laughs> if I was nude, that would be my fucking business and I could be, but I'm not. So keep it moving because you're about to get blocked. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, this is the thing. It's like, you don't need to worry about how the financial support is gonna show up. Your job is to just get complete and total clarity on what your purpose work is, what your divine mission is, what your mission work is, and go out and do that work. The rest will fall into place. Um, you know, and for me, it's like, that is what I'm here to do. I'm here to help activate you to that. I'm here to help you realize that I'm here to, you know, do some activation for you around remembrance of divine code that already exists inside of you. Um, but ultimately you have the answers. They're inside of you. It's your connection with the divine that makes you unique, that makes you special. You have your own unique energy signature and your own frequency and your own mission that you're meant to share with the world. And I can't give that to you. You already have it. You know, I, I know that there's a lot of people out there that are feeling lost and they're like, well, I want to know like what I'm supposed to be doing. Like I keep showing up and I keep getting blocked and I'm, you know, I'm frustrated and I, you know, I want to do the work. Those people like I'm here for it. I'll help you. That's why Maria and I are doing these VIP access sessions that is part of what we're gonna be doing at this retreat is because between the two of us, when we come together, we have the ability to activate your creation and purpose codes. Maria has the ability to give you detailed information on what your divine mission is, like what you're here on this planet to do. Um, and it's not like this willy nilly vagueness. It's like fucking crystal clear. It's clarity, it's direction. And then I come in and say, and here's where you're meant to be doing it in the world. This is where your clients should be coming from. This is where you should be focusing in 2020. Like we have the ability to do that. And it's results driven. It's not fucking woo woo conceptual vagueness. It's actual clear information that you can then take to go and produce results for yourself, period. Like I'm done with the, I'm done with the vagueness. Like I really just am like, I'm over it. I want people out there actually transforming their lives, actually changing their lives, actually doing the mission work that they're meant to be doing in the world. And 
I'm really at this point where it's like, if you have been a client of mine for two years and you haven't gotten any results, don't sign up for any more of my shit, please. Like, don't. I can't do it anymore. Like, I want the people that are all in. I want the people that are willing to do the work. I want the people that are invested energetically, like with their two most valuable resources, which is time and energy, the people that are invested with those resources, in addition to their financial resources, in affecting and creating change in their life, period. And on this planet, right? Um, I don't wanna work with the followers anymore. I only want to work with people who are ready to step up and fucking lead. That's it. Like, that's who I'm calling into my space. And if you don't understand this concept of it's not about how much money you can make sharing your purpose work it's about being wildly financially supported doing your purpose work like if you can't get the differentiation of that you shouldn't be in my space or in my field i'm assuming from this point forward that anyone that's coming to work with me gets that concept um, and that's what i'm putting out into the world that only those people are going to be drawn into my field like that's it. Well, Kelly, now is the time. Now is the time to message me. I would love to talk to you about whatever it is that you're feeling you need to talk to me about. So that's it. That's it for my wealth sermon. Um, Wednesday, Monday, Sunday. What day is it? <laughs> that's it for the last, the final wealth sermon Sunday on Facebook. Again, I will be doing this content. This will be exclusive content that I'll be doing on my YouTube channel. My bills is itching now, so you know this is going to be good. Um, on Wednesdays, Wealth Wednesdays. So if you have not followed, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do that. Um, I'm gonna be putting out more and more exclusive content on YouTube. I'm like obsessed with and loving that platform right now. I'm definitely feeling like I need major expansion away from this platform for all the reasons that we've talked about during this live stream. I, I love Facebook, it, I will always have a home here, I will always share content here, but I definitely am super interested in diversifying platforms and right now that's really looking like YouTube for me. Um, so I'm gonna drop my, it's just youtube.com Leah Steele, so it's super easy. Um, but there's the link, if you have not followed me over there, if you've not subscribed, go do that. I will tell you that I have decided I really am wanting to get to a thousand subscribers um, on YouTube because I can begin monetizing my channel at that point and I can also begin um, live streaming from my phone which makes things a lot more accessible to me once I reach a thousand subscribers. So I've decided that I'm going to be giving away a very, very um, special one-on-one -on -one abundance activation with me. Um, to one of my first thousand subscribers. So if you've already subscribed, you're automatically entered into that pool. Um, but one of my first thousand subscribers are gonna be getting a really, really special one-on-one -on -one session with me that's valued at $1,111. So if you haven't subscribed, go do that because you'll be entered into um, that drawing to win that session with me. Um, it's gonna be good, my nose is itching. You have to make sure that your subscriptions are turned to public though in order for me to see that you have subscribed. So if you subscribed and your subscriptions are set to private, I don't know that you've subscribed. So make sure that before you like it, the, um, <sighs> before you like it, you, before you subscribe, you've set your subscriptions to, to public. So that's happening make sure that you do that if you know that you need in on one of these um vip access tickets to one you get access to the activations that we're going to be doing here in bali next week which is um the activation of the mother and father dragon lines that meet at a dragon temple here in bali um we will be doing that so you will be able to have access to that activation and then we will also be activating um unity christ consciousness on this planet with the reactivation of uh feminine christ consciousness and the activation of masculine christ consciousness we will be doing that at this retreat as well um in addition to dropping the purpose codes and creation codes um so you'll get access to that with the vip ticket and then you also get that very very special two to one session me and maria and you where we're giving you the same information that we're giving to the women at the retreat so we're giving you um 
Maria's giving you the sole purpose session. I'm giving you the geographical information on where you're meant to be doing your purpose work in 2020 and we're activating your purpose and creation codes and um, really giving you clarity on what the work is, the mission work that you're meant to be doing in 2020. So if you know you want in on that, I think there's only two of those spots left of those VIP um, access. And Maria and I will be doing these. Um, we've decided that we will be doing more of these, um, probably not until the first of the year, and they'll be twice the amount that you can get in on it now. So those that VIP access is $1,111. There are payment plans available for that. So reach out to me ASAP if you know you want in on that. We can actually drop the retreat um, page though. I'm so excited. How long has it been? Ta-da! There's my lead page, live and active on Facebook. So that's the information on the retreat. You can also just access just the activations without the two to one session with me and Maria. I don't know why you would possibly do that, but you can do that. Um, so there's not a lot about this online stuff in the retreat information. Um, you can get the whole transmission and vibration of what we're going to be providing at the retreat by le reading this lead page, probably the last lead page I'm ever doing again, actually. I'm super over them. I don't think I'm doing them anymore. Um, but you can click other than like providing a pay place where people can just go pay for shit. That might be what, how we're using lead pages from this point forward. But you can go click and you can see the payment options and you can sign up for something if it's calling to you. Um, and if you've got questions about it, you can certainly reach out to me or to Maria. We're happy to answer any questions. Um, I'm gonna go eat brunch with my husband now and then I'm gonna meet with my retreat coordinator later today and get to planning all of the amazingness that we're gonna be experiencing. Um, I just confirmed the, ooh, new subscriber on YouTube. I love it. Um, I just confirmed the villa which at the last moment I made the decision to upgrade the retreat villa. So it's now located right on the beach and it's next level. So I can't wait to like do some videos and show you guys where all of this magic is gonna be happening because yeah, that's just what, that's what happened. So after I was able to move through all my fear and doubt and all the amazingness started showing up in my life, I was like, oh, hell yeah, we're upgrading the retreat. I haven't even told Maria about it. Maria, I upgraded the retreat villa. It's amazing. Okay, so that's it. That's all I have to say. I hope you all have an amazing day, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world as you're watching this live stream or you're watching the replay. Um, remember that it is your divine birthright to be wealthy. Um, that is your birthright. And it's up to you. Get on the train. Get on the train. Sleep in the station. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you soon. I will see you Wednesday on YouTube for Wealth Sermon Wednesdays.